I'm Sebastian Bonner, and I'm a research investigator at the Center for Urban Epidemiologic Studies of the New York Academy of Medicine. We're right now at a Head Start Center in East Harlem, and the kids that come to Head Start are really the exact demographics of the kids at most risk for asthma. This is a underserved, economically disadvantaged community of color. Right here in the daycare centers where we work, there's about a 25% prevalence, which means one out of every four kids who comes in here has had some symptoms of asthma in the past month or so. The research question that we're after is, will improvements in medical management of asthma lead to improved health outcomes among kids? There are many people in this partnership. We, the New York Academy of Medicine, are a research institute. Our point is to take a very close look at what's happening and what we can do and find out if it works. And research is unbelievably important in this. Everything we've accomplished here came out of research and it in fact came out of failure. The wonderful thing about research is you find out what doesn't work. Success is what you, what you hope for, but failure is what you learn from. The other partner is the daycare center that the child is enrolled in. We were very lucky in our research to partner with Union Settlement Association. About 25% of the children enrolled in this program have asthma. And of these numbers, they all have asthma action plan on file, which originally we had zero asthma action plan. Now on enrollment, a child with asthma comes in also with asthma action plan. So the benefit from partnership from New York Academy of Medicine, as well as the DOH, has helped us. And the third partner is the government, the Department of Health. Based on the successful outcomes that they got, um, we felt it was uh, really important to replicate some of the good work that was done for this site. So approximately two and a half years ago, we worked with our city council to ensure that there was funding available to expand these asthma services to daycare programs. We essentially uh, ended up making approximately $400,000 available to expand this program to 180 daycare sites citywide. Essentially all of this is in service of the main partnership, which is the family and the doctor. We have not seen asthma attack among children who have asthma at Union Settlement for the past five years. It is a big success, yes. If you want to do asthma research, this is the way to do it. You work within the community. Uh, it's, this isn't bench research. This is where you get to play with the disease right where it's happening. You're not just searching for it, you're looking to eradicate it. And you have to be working with the people who are suffering and the people who are working with them. The New York Academy of Medicine has been a wonderful agency that I really truly valued. They listen to you, no matter when you call on them, they are there for you. With regards to our needs, they will address it where they cannot reach out, they actually introduced us to DOH. So it's not only that it ends with them, but they advocate for you also with other providers. Partnership is key. Partnership is imperative in public health. 